Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to a new series which is all about the gear that's inside of your pack. You know, as an outdoorsman, a backpacker, camper, outdoors woman, whatever, you know, your kit is always evolving. It's always changing. And within that kit, there should be specific items which you carry with you at all times. Backpacking, camping, going out for a day hike, and so on. If you are going to head into the outdoors, there are certain items which are very important to have with you. And this series is all about those items. This right here is what I refer to as my miscellaneous kit. And inside of it is the very first item, cordage. This episode is all about cordage. The importance of having cordage with you while you're out on a hike, a backpacking trip, bushcraft trip, and so on, this is worth its weight in gold for many reasons. By having a good supply of cordage with you can be the difference between life and death when you're out on the trail, out in the forest, and so on. And in this episode here, I'm going over the reasons as to why that is. With cordage, you can make guy lines for your tent, just in case you left those at the house, or if one breaks. You can replace broken shoelaces if you have to. You could create a makeshift clothesline to dry out your clothes once they've gotten wet. For first aid purposes, you could use it for anything, tourniquets, splints, and so on. You could even use it to make a stretcher. In an emergency situation, you could use cordage to build a shelter. You could use it to hang a pot over a fire to boil some water. You could use it part of a tension system for your tarp. You could use it to hang a bear bag. You could use it to hang your backpack off of the ground in bug infested territories. You can use it for snares and for traps. In certain situations, you can even use cordage to find the trail if you've lost it. If your cordage is thin enough, you can even use your cordage as a tick removal tool. Having a good supply of cordage means that you can make improvised weapons very easily. You could fish, you could start fires, you could use it as fire starter in some cases. You can make lanyards for your tools, handle material for your knife, axe, blade, and so on. You can make a friction saw with it. If it's thin enough, you can use it as dental floss, snowshoes, clamping tools, hoisting. If your cordage is strong enough, you can even climb with it or make a ladder. Compression lines, bottle carriers, gear repairs, and so on. The list goes on and on, my friends. With my 30 plus years of being in the outdoors, by carrying cordage with me has saved my butt so many times and in so many ways. Now you may be asking yourself what type of cordage should you be carrying and the answer is going to be different for everyone. Everybody has a preference, right? I prefer strong, light, and tons of it. This is micro cord. This has a tensile strength of like 100 pounds, something like that. It's very, very strong. And I have 125 feet of this here. And that's about the size of a silver dollar. Of course, it's thicker, but I mean, it takes up no space inside of your pack. High visibility. I can use this for anything. And I have used it for anything and everything. When it comes to cordage, some cordage is better than no cordage. That's the most important thing to keep in mind. When it comes to cordage selection, ask yourself this. Do you need 550 cord? Is that too much? Is it not enough? Everybody's answer is different. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts with me, folks. Tell me what you personally carry. You know, this is from Atwood Rope Manufacturing Micro Cord. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. I recently did a review on this. I've been carrying this spool here for a couple of years, and it really is good stuff. Very, very good stuff. I mean, you can pull this apart. You can use those strands for all sorts of purposes. By heading out to the forest without some cordage, you are really hampering your ability to take care of your needs as they arise. That is why I highly recommend that you always have some cordage with you. Good, strong cordage. In the future, we will have more episodes of What's in Your Pack. Guys, strength and honor. See you guys around. <laughs>